It is championship day for the Redcrest, and look at it, all three of the Anglers of the Year on the Bass Pro Tour are in the mix. Big question is, who's it gonna be? Championship day, man. Um, Redcrest, man. DC's won one of these. Uh, obviously, at the end of the day, uh, yeah. sun just getting ready to go up. We got some work to do, and um, we got here. It was about. A, it was just barely. But the last little last minute catches got on a little something yesterday, late in the day. And man, I'm I'm excited to get out there. I'm really excited to get out there. This is the thing. At the end of the day. I'm gonna have to practice quite a bit, but I think I got an idea of what's going on. And with the conditions we have, we had a warm night last night, anything can happen. So $300,000, big trophy, Red Crest champion, man, sounds sounds pretty legit. I mean, I would love to win this event. And um, man, excited to get out there. Let's see what else we can get in. Y'all put me on live right now, Alicia's got something to say. Back to back, champ. Like, back to back, red to back like to back. Him. It's oh my gosh! I appreciate you doing Ease really it. good all the time. To Ease it up me. a little bit, bro. Ease it up a little bit. So gosh, dang! Well. I mean, y'all of a sudden you just got to step on that. You always no. got to one up. You heard? No. I heard somebody say yesterday, like I caught a couple. And you're like, yeah, no, we got to go catch a couple. Yeah, we're gonna have to catch some big time. These so, guys are catching them. So today we got uh 50 pounds. Yeah, that's that's the winning way. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. That would be really nice. <laughs> don't don't pull. Listen, you call twenty five in thirty <laughs> minutes. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> this is the last. Hey, thing. You got to put your head down and go to work. You that's have the thing. to. There's no excuses at this point in time. You got to bow up. You do. You have, you have to. to. This is the thing. It's like adversity is awesome. It's dope. It's fun. Yeah, yes. I mean, this is the thing. It makes the story better. That is what it does. The driving in the morning. We're driving an hour and a half from Tulsa back. We're tired, we're going to bed at 10 o'clock. Block all that out. You need to block it all out. And I'll tell you something else you gotta do. Like you, you have to go into kill mode. Like you have hundred. You cannot let, you can't just be happy you made it here. You can't. No. I mean, I'm grateful that I'm here. When you're, in the beginning of your career. First place. In the beginning of your career, you get to these points and you're just like, man, I'm so happy I'm here. Now. Take advantage of it. You're like, it's time to go. Career training. Absolutely right. Let's make it happen. tournaments I ever won was with this guy right here. Rick and I go way back since I was 19 years old. So it'd be pretty cool to, to get one of the biggest wins of my career today with him about. So we're gonna go out here, wish us luck. There's only one place to worry about when you get to Red Crest last day and that is first. If you ain't first you're last, Ricky Bob. <laughs> He's our reigning major league fishing angler of the year, multi-time stage winner. I'm talking none other than Chica I'm just gonna put this down. I wanna put this away. Fish 
you. Game on. Not really sure. Yeah, it's game on. Make it happen. Oh my gosh. Bro, that was a giant one. God. Dang it, man. Giant one, too. Oh. Man, I, knew, I can't do that. You can't be losing them. Dang it. There he is. There he is. I don't know how big it is. It's a good one too. It's barely hooked, dude. Come on, don't do it. Come on, man. That's a great big one, dude. Boom, baby. Yes, sir. We got one of them anyway. We got one of them short enough. Solid. Rocking in it. I know. I know it's sort of. We got this rocking waves. We just had a whole bunch of boat traffic, so it's like bouncing back and forth. So Brian's looking out and making sure the weight's correct, and that's exactly what that's all I could ask for. Dang waves, come on. I know. Let me get five pounds, two ounces. There we go. Yeah, there you guys go. Five, two to start the day. The one that I lost was way bigger than that one. But that's a good start. We straight, hey, we're going for straight bigs today, boys and girls. Straight bigs. We ain't gonna catch many, but if they're all five pounds, we only need to catch about 10 of them. It's okay, right? Let's do this thing. Let's do this dang thing, boys. Let's ride. There he is. Not a good one, dude. No, they're like four pounder. I think that one got it. You hooked up again? Yes, sir. Come here. Yes, sir. That one got it. That one got it. There you go. Solid. Solid fish right there. Four pounds, three ounces. <laughs> hey, we're straight going for big ones today. That's another solid one. All right. Caught two. We've had four bites total. If we can get lucky enough to keep it going, man. They might they might have slid up a little higher now. I don't know. Let's see. We just gotta keep running new stuff is all we can do. Really. But if we catch the right ones like we have. Them are big though. We're gonna bring straight big ones. There he is. Oh, gosh dang it, dude.
got right here. This should be good. I got something I found yesterday. All right, y'all. It's a little colder than I anticipated right now, but this is the thing. We are only four pounds back, and anything can happen for sure. We just have to get those fish in the boat, man. I did lose one that's a heartbreaker. I lost another decent one, um, jerking, but that's part of it. That is bass fishing 101. I, I just come off, man. I uh, you try to do everything right, and sometimes you just have those moments when things just you know just didn't get the bait right or hook didn't slide you know the right way and you just come off so you got to put that away in the back of your mind put it away and and go out there and realize hey you have a job to do and we have we're four pounds away you know um right now you look at the, the score the score tracker and edwin's leading um the only thing is because he caught three fish three bass so he's only caught three bass um we've caught two and uh dc's having caught three um so like you know the thrifty's caught four five, i think four but um so we got some work to do we got some work to do, so we're gonna we're gonna retie some things and get a game plan. Hopefully, get back out here and uh, start to run around and try to catch these suckers. So, wish us luck. Everywhere today. I don't know what the deal is. I'm not seeing them that many boats. Okay. Man, there's a lot of boats out there though. Thank you. I had some follow me up right here. I'm... We'll see. I don't like it. Let's ride. It's not what I wanted. Dang, I was trying to see if that was new. Let's go crank that one place we caught that one on. Four pounds, 12 ounces out right now. We have about 20 minutes left in the third period, or the second period. Um, and I'm running brand new stuff that, you know, whether it's stuff that I'd seen in practice and hoping that there's a few bass around, you know, and, uh, the problem is, is like all the stuff that I've fished, I'm just recycling through old water. And I don't feel very confident about it. So this is the decision making that you have to make in the tournament. I'll mark some like isolated little places. I don't know exactly the water being high, if those fish will be there or not, or I'm going to save my, la my best stuff for last, you know, and rotate back through that stuff where I caught the two big ones this, this morning. But, uh, if I can get a couple bites doing that, I mean, I feel pretty good that they're going to be the right ones. I just don't know. Nope, don't like this place. All right, we got to keep moving. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We got to keep moving. Keep moving. Anyway, that was a clutch one. All right, so 
that. That fish, you're still in sixth place. You got four fish for 15 pounds, zero ounces. You're six pounds, five ounces out of first. Okay. Okay. Luke Clawson's in first. He has six fish for 21 pounds, five ounces. Justin Connell's in second. He has seven fish for 18 pounds, four ounces. Dang. Edmund Evers is in third. He has four fish for 16 pounds, 13 ounces. You're in sixth with 15 pounds, zero ounces. All right, y'all. Last second fish catch right there. Didn't have them on the chesty, but hey, I'll tell you what. That was. It's going. It's clutch. We're only uh, six pounds out. DC's in second, so always wishing my boy some good luck. And uh, just, uh, I'm hoping we just do a little bit better. <laughs> uh, man, we got some work to do in this last period. The cool thing is, I did catch 20 pounds in the third period yesterday. Um, I did fish that stuff again today. And I lost one, and I had an, I lost two actually down through there. So, I mean, those two fish right there, you know, um, put you way up there. But what I'm saying more is, there's fish around that area. If I can go back in that zone. Now, the other thing is, I could just completely throw that away and look at. I just got a bite on a crankbait, like literally last cast. Caught it on a little OG slim. Um, and so now, like, there's wind crashing on this bank. You see this whole bank down through here. It's just like more basically like a little tighter contour on the bank line right here real tight and um those fish like to get up on those places that the contour sort of you know tighten up a little bit more sometimes they call bluff ends if you're actually real it's a real big transition but this is more just more of a transition where it goes from steeper or flatter way up this way to like a little bit steeper bank so um we might we might have to crank around a little bit but we'll sort of see i don't i'm not exactly sure i'm not exactly sure i'm at least going to crank down the stretch because that was like literally my third cast so I mean, you know, there might be 25 pounds just sitting down through here. We just don't know. So, we'll check back here soon. There he is, big and two. Not a great big one, but a scoreable for sure. Boom, yes sir. Two pounds, 12 ounces. <laughs> yeah, wind's on bank, man. All right. I just lost one there too. I didn't realize I didn't lose him, but I had one follow it. I crank around this corner real quick. Um, there he is. Come on, dude. One pound. 14 ounces, non-scoreable. Man, that sucker. Dude, that jack, I mean, that sucked right there. I had three of them come out of these rocks. My jerk bait freaking jacked up. Mother flippers. God. There he is. Please big in. How big are you? I can tell. You're good. Big. Boom, there we go. It's a four pounder. You see it ain't over yet, buddy. I ain't gonna give it four to pounds, you. Four pounds, four pounds, two ounces. I ain't gonna give it to you yet, bro. Holy crap, man. That last year put you into second place. You now have seven fish for 22 pounds and 13 ounces. You're one pound, one ounce up there. There he is. Be another good one, I think. Come on. There we go, too. This ain't gonna be enough to win, but I think we've caught about as much as we can on this place, but man. 
three pounds, seven ounces. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Three pounds, seven ounces. That's not over, that's for sure. We got some work to do. Dude, this is gonna be fun. I got a feeling. I got a feeling it's gonna be a, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm gonna do everything I can to obviously win, but it's gonna be fun regardless. And who's in third? Oh my gosh, it's anybody's game. And then who's fourth? Bobby oh. I actually might be able to catch one more. I don't know. Low key. Hard to get your next bite, you just never know. We need to get we need to get our butt down. I almost didn't fish because I thought I saw a boat over here and I was like, oh, I guess they're on that, you know, and and then I'm thankful I did. Super thankful. Last cast, we got a rod. I just had to make sure I wasn't leaving them. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm not leaving fish to find fish. So let's ride dude if we can somehow some way generate two more bites we might win this thing So basically this is the deal. We're about to go run about four places. If we catch them, that it is. Then we would DC, just caught him one. I felt good for him, man. He, I rolled in here earlier, caught me one right here. So pay that. Gotta get one big bite. One big bite, 25 minutes to go. Red crest on the line. Name the game. It's who we live for. Oh my god. Four times he's waiting at now. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. He just wanted to come out. No way. Yeah. How can that be? He did. The he did. fourth time he waited. Holy crap. Yeah. The fourth way. Yeah. The fourth way. I can't even watch. Oh, I can't. You see he's got a fish. Does he? No, no, no. It's Austin. Oh, Sorry. no! Sorry. Oh, I, I bibs. I thought it was him. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. That's insane. Yeah, we knew we needed a bite, man. We knew we needed another fish. That's just how it rolls, man. I'm super pumped for Bobby, man. Bobby, uh, Bobby 
free and I, I, I beat him out by just a couple ounces at, at Travis and uh, man it, when it's your time it's your time and uh, we ran around we gave it what we had but man congratulations to him dang that was a dang close one that was a close one time to head back unreal we were close boy last thing. could not get another bite had opportunities it just is what it is you can always dang man that's freaking cool for bobby though i'm calling for him man oh bobby son let's ride boys thanks for following along we enjoyed it absolutely i know always absolutely thank you guys serious i love your dog absolutely couple that I, I probably shouldn't have caught and uh, we left it out there on the wall all out there on the water this is the thing whenever I come to an event as long as I give 120% do everything in my power to prepare preparations key and then just fish my butt off all day long you just leave it all out there I feel very very good right now and I do uh, I'm super pumped for Bobby Lane now Bobby lost by two ounces last year two ounces to me on travis lake and on lake travis and uh and so he's just sort of a little bit of payback <laughs> so i am pumped for him, man it, it was uh it was a close one obviously you know the last second i had a fish on my dirt bait i don't know it's probably three pounder or so and if i get that fish to bite he went so i you know it, it was so close you know any one of those fish could have been but uh, man, it's been an unbelievable week. It really has. Hold on a minute. What place am I in now? They're like four. I was like, Jacob's in third? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Champions with Major League Fishing and the reigning angler. for the five let's talk fishing boy you could almost taste this one man it was uh it was really close you know uh i went out there with a goal to win this thing no doubt uh man it was a tough bite out there and, and yesterday was one of the most craziest comebacks i mean I, I didn't really have anything left in the tank and made a good adjustment and man uh, to be in that position no doubt it uh it stings a little bit but at the same point in time i knew i needed to catch another bass and I knew at the end of the day, like if I did not, when I, had, when I had a little bit of a lead, an hour left to go, I said, Well, man, what a great event for you. Olivia, can I have a hug? <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Are you proud of Dad? Good job. You all did really good this week. Let's hear it one more time for Jacob! The Upper Northwest showed up today! Let's hear it! So, um, here's what's up, here's what's up. So, we didn't win. We did not win. We came so close. 
Yeah. But close only counts in horseshoes, right? That's it, what they say. Yeah, that's what they say. Do you that's know what, what that means? Say. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what that shoes, means either. But they say that. You want you want the? I mean, yeah, I don't even know what that means either. But anyway, it was it was a good week. It was a very good week. We got big bass two of the four days. We ended up third, second. Last year I got third in the right yeah, class. Repeat. This year I got third in the right yeah. class. So repeat, repeat. We're back to back third place. Not back to back wins. Back to back third place. We'll take it. We got to start to bring this up to second or something, man. I mean, I'm not complaining. Please. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, we got to step it up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know where Red Crest is next year, but we're going to put some work in. Hey, look, at the end of the day, we fished our butt off. You did. Got a beautiful wife, got a beautiful kids, and very fortunate uh, to be able to fish professionally for a living. So we appreciate you watching the video, watching the channel. We're on to the next one. We'll see you there.